We will acquire all the scientific information regarding hepatitis in this video. Hepatitis refers to liver inflammation. A number of bodily processes depend on the liver. These include controlling metabolism, generating pile, storing iron and vitamins, manufacturing proteins, managing metabolism, and managing toxins. A malfunctioning liver can result in significant sickness and occasionally even death. Infection, viruses, chemicals, drinking alcohol or using other drugs, among other things, can result in hepatitis. The many types of viral hepatitis are given names based on alphabet letters. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E are some of them. While all of these viruses affect the liver, they are spread in different ways and have different treatment. What about hepatitis's signs and symptoms? It is crucial to understand that not all people with hepatitis experience symptoms. Talking to your doctor and getting a blood test are the only ways to find out if you have hepatitis. Many hepatitis patients feel healthy despite the fact that their livers are being damaged. When symptoms occur, they may include fever, nausea, abdominal discomfort, lethargy or tiredness, painful joints, dark urine, and jaundice, which means yellow skin and eyes. What about hepatitis A? Anyone can become infected with the hepatitis A virus through food, beverages, or items that have been in contact with the excrement or poo of an infected person. Even though the symptoms may linger for several weeks, most people fully recover. Lifelong immunity against hepatitis A is provided by infection, however, this does not confer immunity against other hepatitis types. A vaccine is available to protect against hepatitis A. What about hepatitis B? When blood, semen, vaginal secretions, or other bodily fluids from a person who has hepatitis B enters the bloodstream of someone who does not have hepatitis B, the hepatitis B virus is transmitted. Unsafe sexual contact or the sharing of injecting equipment are two behaviors that could facilitate the spread of hepatitis B. Hepatitis B can also be transmitted from mother to child at birth or shortly after birth. The hepatitis virus remains in the bodies of those who have been exposed to it for the rest of their lives. Infected infants and children have a far higher chance of developing chronic hepatitis B than infected adults. Hepatitis B infection can be prevented using a highly potent and secure vaccine. It is a part of the typical vaccination program, which starts with infants. Newborn infants can avoid infection by having the mother screen before giving birth. If a woman tests positive, hepatitis B immunoglobulin and a hepatitis B immunization are given to the infant at birth. What about hepatitis C? Hepatitis C is a blood-borne virus that can infect and spread to uninfected people through the exchange of blood. It is most frequently spread through sharing injecting drug equipment. A third of those who have hepatitis C may be able to rid themselves of the infection in a few months without receiving any medical attention. These persons are immune to hepatitis C and can no longer spread it. If left untreated, over 70% of those who have hepatitis C continue to carry the virus in their blood and are more likely to have chronic hepatitis C. Of these, between 10 and 20% will get severe liver scarring called cirrhosis. It may take up to 20 years for this to materialize. The likelihood of acquiring liver cancer rises with liver cirrhosis. The results for those with hepatitis C have significantly improved with the use of direct-acting antiviral medications. With fewer adverse effects, these medicines can help reduce liver inflammation and eradicate the virus in up to 95% of patients. Hepatitis C infection cannot be prevented by a vaccination. It is possible to contract hepatitis C once more if you have already had it. What about hepatitis D? Hepatitis D virus can be acquired either as a super-infection in persons who already have hepatitis B or as a co-infection, meaning that it happens concurrently with hepatitis B virus. Hepatitis D can be acquired through risky sexual encounters, sharing injecting supplies, and other behaviors where the blood of an infected person comes into contact with your blood. What about hepatitis E? The majority of hepatitis E cases occur in underdeveloped nations. This virus is not accompanied by a persistent infection. The hepatitis E virus is transmitted by consuming tainted food or water, or by ingesting the feces of infected humans and animals. In comparison to the hepatitis A virus, less frequently does person-to-person -person transmission occur. What about hepatitis diagnosis? 
Hepatitis tests are used to check for and diagnose the disease, assess the liver, and identify its underlying causes. Hepatitis tests are frequently used to check a population for the viral hepatitis types hepatitis B and C. In contrast to hepatitis C testing, which looks for hepatitis C antibodies, hepatitis B testing identifies the hepatitis B surface antigen. To detect and track liver disease or damage, liver function tests are required. These examinations evaluate your blood levels of certain proteins and enzymes. An ultrasound of the liver is also required for diagnosis and follow-up. What about hepatitis virus treatment? Rest proper hydration, a healthy diet, the use of antiviral drugs, and liver supports are all part of the viral hepatitis treatment regimen. For hepatitis B or C that has persisted for a long time, the antiviral medicines may be suggested. What are common complications of hepatitis? Fibrosis, a disorder brought on by liver scarring, is one of the most typical complications of chronic hepatitis. In situations of fibrosis, the liver is continually inflamed, causing damage that the liver attempts to repair by producing scar tissue. Sadly, this scar tissue prevents the liver from functioning as well as it previously did. When fibrosis progresses and widens, it is referred to as cirrhosis. Liver failure and liver cancer are two devastating but less frequent outcomes of chronic hepatitis. In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye!